Who would shoot horses with a pellet gun? That's what a Chesapeake woman wants to know. Police say the animals were likely hit this weekend on Weiss Lane in the Deep Creek area. Tell me your side's Ava Hurdle talked to the horse's owner. Ava? Nicole, Jennifer Long has been around horses just about her entire life and says she can't understand why someone would do this. Come on, baby. I know. It's been a lot, hasn't it? Jazzy, a two-year-old mare, has seen better days, shot four times with a pellet gun. One of the pellets has been removed from her right side, but the horse is not out of the woods yet. This is the one that they are concerned about right here. And it's in her chest, armpit area. That's where she says all the important nerves and vessels are. You know, they're kind of leaning more towards not removing it because it may cause more damage removing it than leaving it in there, but we just have to see. Her husband's 12-year-old gelding was hit too. This is Scooter. He is the other one that got shot. And, um, come here, baby. Whoa. Come here. He got shot right here. We were able to get that one out. Comet, another gelding owned by Chrissy Buckner, was not harmed but seems fearful. He's been a little uneasy in a stall, um, you know, one night over the weekend, he wouldn't come in at all. So I, I just thought that was kind of strange because he usually always comes in with the other horses. Both Buckner and Long say what happened here was cruel. I want them to be able to catch these guys, you know. I don't want them to, you know, they've shot a horse. Obviously, they played target practice on her. She's got four pellet wounds in her and, you know, who's to say that they couldn't have done something worse? Now, police suspect youngsters may be involved in this pellet gun shooting, but have no suspects in custody at this time. I'm Eva Hurdle, 10 on your side. Veterinarian sent the horse's x-rays to Virginia Tech, which has an equine center to determine a, a course of further treatment.